Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. So we're gonna kick off today with the Barn Star Sampler. Uh, this is a, a project that we're doing as a quilt along with the Fat Quarter Shop, and they uh, are following the book order, so we are following the book order, which is super nice because it goes from the larger down to the smaller blocks that way, and I just think it's a great way to do it. Because we have done all the large blocks so far. Those are, there's, um, three months already because this is just monthly if I didn't say that uh, so we've already done three months we're on the fourth month since it's April still April still April today uh, and I want to show you we'll show you the block for this week because we go down a size we're down into the next size blocks and this is a tulip block uh, some um, months the blocks are identical like the first and the third month I did the blocks identical whoops this month there's a little bit different fabric so you can see I don't have a second board my other boards busy um, but here you can see the middle uh, is different fabrics this floral here and then the corner up here uh, and I want to get the other camera and just talk a bit about the backgrounds and things. This quilt is a beast. It is a big quilt. It takes a lot of fabric. There's a lot of patchwork, a lot of cutting up and sewing back together. It is beautiful, uh, but you, it does need a lot of fabric. So I want to just use the other camera real quick and just talk about that. And uh, then I'll just show you the fabric again that I'm using, the fabric line. So let's go take a look. There are a lot of different backgrounds used in this, and I have one basic one. My Promise Me, the background of my Promise Me is in quite a few of them, but then I also have this dot, and I did buy some extra background fabrics, but some are just coming with the Fat Quarter Bundle. Here's a um, text print, uh, and then another text print. I think I had a half a yard bundle to start, uh, and then Promise Me and Promise Me. But you have things like this that could be used as a background if you wanted. You know, you could mix it up and have things that are a little bit different, but it just, I, I wanted to keep it really sort of light that way, those three that I've used so far, they'll all be kind of similar to that because blocks all get put side by side. There's no sashing in this layout. If you missed me talking about the fabric, you know, months ago when we when we first started this, I just thought I'd show it to you again because they it's turning out so gorgeous in this quilt. Uh, and the base of it is the country rose. So that is the fabric line. Uh, and there's fat quarter bundles still, so you could get it for even another project if you like. Uh, but I've got, you know, just these really, the, the black is so nice. I just really love working with black fabric. The black and the tan, there, and I added in more ginghams, I added in more dots. I, you know, I had to add in more then, because this, this quilt takes quite a bit of fabric. But I, I like the black uh, colorway, and oops, then it has this, this uh, tan, which there aren't too many of the tans, just a couple of pieces. I'm sure there's another one somewhere. But then there's the lights that are with this. And anything you make with this fabric. Oh, there, it kind of goes with this. That, go that goes with the lights. Then there are peaches. So you see the peaches, uh, which are, well, they're probably more pink. These are probably, I would say, more pink than peach with a kind of a pinky, peachy dot there. Also the floral, look how beautiful that is. Then the green, of course I have more of that green. This is going to be the binding. Uh, but there's the greens, same thing, a text print. You're going to see these each month. Then I've got the dark um, pinky peach. See, there's more peach. These are more pink. So you've got three kind of peach, light pink, and the darker pink. And then blue, and there's some more. There's some more of the taupe. There, that tan, tanny taupe. And then you've got this blue. Kind of a light gray, it's more gray. It's got a gray blue. It's really pretty. Okay, so the <laughs> the block, the four, first three months of blocks, which are six blocks total, you make these really big ones. Super big. Uh, and the book, um, the Shelley Cavanaugh tells you how to make some other quilts using the block. So in the back of the book, there are additional quilts. So that's kind of nice. It's nice to see. But I wanted to show you the layout so that you just get an idea. When you go to assemble this, 
it'll be in rows or verticals and there's no sashing. And so as we go along, we'll be going down in size for blocks. So we'll be working on this next size block and we'll eventually go down to the smaller blocks, which are used to sort of put between and connect uh, all the bigger blocks. Okay. Well, that's the Barnstar sampler for this month. And I really like the tulip block. It's such a classic uh, and it looks really good in here. Just think of a, a barn quilt done with this. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? That'd be so gorgeous. Oh, I just need a barn, just a barn. That's all. I'll tell Mr. Greg, I need a barn so I can put a quilt on it, put a barn quilt on it. <laughs> Now, yes, was it yesterday? No, the 27th. Um, yeah, was that yesterday? I think so. Or tomorrow. No, yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> I've got my days all mixed up. It was frog day. Frog day. And so I would love to see your quilts that have frogs on it because I know you have some or you have frog fabric. I actually had a top for years, I don't know if I still have it, that had frog fabric that went with some sort of a swap we did. But let me show you my frog quilt. Hold on, I just have to pull it over here. Whee! I have a quilt with frogs on it. And so let me show you the quilt first. Frogs and lily pads. Uh, <laughs> if you were in Texas, you may have made this quilt. It's also, it also went in a book of mine, but a leisure arts book from quite a few years ago. But here is my quilt with frogs on it. So fun, right? And then, <laughs> so I, I should display this. I have not had it out in a while. Let me show you a frog up close because she has got gorgeous, gorgeous eyelashes. Look at her. Look how cute she is. So I was commissioned to design this quilt for a Texas shop hop that happened over leap year weekend. <laughs> so it was leap year weekend and they wanted to do something special and they asked for a quilt that had <clears throat> parts so that you could go to each store, pick up the pattern from there. And uh, it also needed to have frogs. So <laughs> I adore that quilt. I just think it is so fun. Uh, and yeah, yeah. So I just had to show it to you. What else do we have coming up? Okay. Well, yeah, tomorrow you wear your PJs all day. It's PJ all day day. Does that make sense? PJ all day, day. <laughs> that sounds weird. Okay, that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna switch out here <clears throat> because we're gonna talk about the socialites and the library quilt and a little bit more. <laughs> and here is the socialites done in the uh, optional butterfly pattern that some of the people in the socialites lounge uh, came up with. So, and then I adjusted theirs because they had sashing and I took the sashing out and I added more things, uh, these quarter square triangles here and here on the bottom ones. Uh, and I think I added, did I add? No, I think that was out there. I can't remember. Uh, but it is so, so cool. Now I did take, because to make it square, I had to add a three and a half inch strip at the top and bottom because it was one block wider than it was taller so I wanted it taller and I may um, I may go and put a little like just one inch strip on the side to just give a little space for between this point and the binding when I put the binding on uh, and that's mostly why it also kind of helps the long armor but you know not doesn't it's not necessary you know so don't have anything separating along here just have a, a you know solid piece of fabric I often do that well I do it more when there's a lot of patchwork on the side because then it kind of locks in all those edges um, so this this turned out so cute and yes that means I did two butterfly quilts, but that's okay. Uh, and remember the Tula Pink butterfly quilt is on a construction delay while I'm on travel. So it will resume next week. Uh, next Thursday, we'll start back. I will start back. You can, of course, be sewing your uh, quilts together. And Kendall Taylor, our ambassador, he is doing videos for them. So, you know, you certainly do not have to wait for me to sew mine because you know what it looks like. Uh, but I will get back to it next Thursday.
but this one is pretty much done I'll probably just put a one inch strip on either side and then it will go to the quilter I think I'm just going to have an overall design done but I don't know what yet so I have to see what my um, long armor suggests because she's better at that than I am it's not my strong point picking designs I see what I like, but I don't really want to go figure that part out. That's why I hired them. <laughs> okay, so we we have the, that is done. The socialites is done. It's a wrap. It's in the it's in the can. Uh, you will see mine again after it's quilted. And I am I did have enough I get enough blue, so. I will do that. Now when I get back, another thing I have to do is empty all of these project bins because a couple of these things have finished, like the holiday hoopla and this is finished and um, you know, so and another couple are almost done. So I need to, I'll be like going through those and figuring out, you know, getting the fabric either put back in my collections or off to new homes, that kind of a thing. So that'll be in the next uh, week or so. Like I look forward to that because when I'm done, I just want those bins empty so I can put the new things in them. Now, speaking of new things, before we go on to the library quilt, uh, I got the tulip top done. While I was sewing some of the other things, I was sewing these parts. And then eventually I got down to put, just putting the sashings between the, the um, vertical columns. And I thought, well, I'm gonna get it done. So here, I'll pull all, pull all the way back. So there is, yeah, so cute. So I will probably just um, quilt this on my Baby Lock Solaris when I get back so I can hang it up and enjoy it in May uh, in, in my hall, in my hallway, because you know, there's still beautiful, beautiful spring flowers coming up in May. <sighs> so exciting, <laughs> flowers coming up, it's just so exciting. All right, I am going to take this down and put the library quilt up. We have like a busy day. We've got like all these things going on. That's what happens when I don't have quite as many videos in the week and we have a lot of sew alongs. <laughs> okay, let me put the library quilt up. I took the socialites outside on the clothesline. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are. I went ahead and took the butterfly outside on the clothesline. And it's a little bit windy, but we have this little spot where it's not so windy, so we can see it. Here's up close on all of the blocks. Down below. Oh my goodness, so fun. I cannot wait to get this quilted and hang it. It's the perfect size. Thank you to the team over on the Socialites group, the group that came up with the idea. Uh, it's just darling. I loved uh, working with the butterfly format. The library quote along is being done with my holiday hoopla book. Here it is. So this book, and uh, it is called uh, Love Your Library, which, you know, as a kid, especially when we first went to Europe, the library was my sanctuary. I guess that's how you would say it maybe. Uh, you know, I just was able to go to the library whenever I wanted it. We were, um, in, we were in Germany when we were on base, the library was on base, and so you know, school was on base, everything was there, so I could just go from school over to the library, and I just loved it. The books, the smell, it was quiet. Uh, <laughs> no rambunctious, rambunctious brother running around. Uh, so, and I just adored, adored going to the library. So <clears throat> I'm really excited about this sew along even though I've made one, I'm working on a second one as I'm showing you different things. And it's, it's really, I've been so excited to finally see some of your blocks. Uh, last week when we talked about this, I hadn't seen hardly anything. And when I filmed it, and so now uh, some have been coming up. And when, we, when I come back next week, I'll, I'll gather a bunch of pictures so we can look at different options that people are putting together because that's really the most fun, is to see how you take this and interpret it for yourself. So I put the um, sashing part between here. Let me just uh, stick this up here a second like that. Okay, so I put that. I've got that one. And then I took the Good Dog, the Good Dog Collection. That is, as this was a gift, this was sent to me just real recently, uh, and I thought that just sounded, so it sounded like a book collection, doesn't it? Like a series, the Good Dog Collection. Uh, and then I found this um some text print in green and look at these for this line like milk and sugar so this will go here 
That is the same block, actually. You've made the same block. So today we'll talk about the um, horizontal block a little bit and a little bit more. I'm going to just show you some other, other things uh, about the salvages and maybe some other concepts. So I will meet you on the other side and we'll talk about that. Here is the start of my horizontal row. And I'm using this uh, salvage that I showed you the last time. Uh, and I think that turned out so cute. And so I thought, well, I'm just gonna go through my salvages uh, that I have that many of you gifted me. Well, most of them are from what you gifted. And I just wanna see what else was in there that I might be able to use or want to use because my color palette is kind of tight. So that means um, some things, I can fold away most of the color to put it on the edge of something else like this. Uh, this particular one, I went ahead and kept the scissors and the and the sewing machines because that was so, so cute. So what I did is I just went looking for things. So I think I showed you that one. It's got blue hearts, but I think that might be okay for um, just the small part, like on the edge of a book. Okay, and then this is the fabric piece of it that's left. <laughs> See what I did? That's where I cut for the block. Yeah, and I think I can use that one again because it is a perfect, perfect green. I found some black text print and some other more green text print, another green text print, and this is the one I used, and another black text print. This is just like the alphabet, but I think that's so cool. It could just be the book itself. I might do that. Then I had some Barbie fabric, and I thought, well, maybe I can just do a small thing that has like the Life of Barbie, a book, The Life of Barbie on the bookshelf. So I think that will work. So go through your fabrics and see what you have. Okay, so what else was here? Let's, uh, let's just get a little closer. So I was looking for things that might have a phrase, like here is Sweet Dreams. Uh, so I think that that could be like maybe not for the long, like a long book, but just a, the horizontal, like, you know, just the title part, Sweet Dreams, if it's big enough. Yeah, so that's what you're looking for, just fun. Here's the eyeballs. I thought they were so cute. That would work, eyeballs. There's some frogs. So I don't know, this one's a maybe because it's just a lot of color on that one. Not sure I want that one. This is for a long one. So, oh, gotta get the whole thing. So make, quilt, color, thread, stitch equals add it up. Yeah, so I think that can go on a long book. What I would do would be to pull away most of that yellow, tuck it under, right? And then it can go on a black, on one of the black fabrics. So definitely, that is definitely going. Here is some Dick and Jane fabric. So cute. That can go on an end. Same with this one. Here's some words that are cute that could just go on the spine, like this way. And uh, the beautiful day had a nice, did it have a nice quote? No, I just thought the beautiful day part. So that could go on the end of a book, beautiful day, a book, a book called Beautiful Day. This is one of my fabrics. And did I have a, no, so I just thought it'd be fun to put one of my fabrics in there on the book, Bobbins and Bits. That was an older line when I had fabric with Moda. Okay, a couple more. Uh, there's one that has best friends forever. So I thought that would be cute, even if it's just on the end, get the best friends forever. This one had a beautiful quote, a, quote, a field of cotton as if the moon had flowered by, by uh, Basho. So that would be nice on the end. Once again, I don't want so much red, so I would just pull it down. Here we have the humblest tasks get beautiful if loving hands do them, Louisa May Alcott. So definitely, definitely long, uh, a long spine for that one. So I'm finding some good ones. I probably have enough now. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sun, drink in the wild air, Henry David Thoreau. So then that's green. So th these will go along the spine and it'll have to be tucked under because it's not long enough. So I'll have to tuck under both ends. So that's how I will approach that guy. So he will have, you know, no raw edges on it. Okay, so there you go. That is, um, whoop, <laughs> we don't need to be so close, do we? Uh, so, so there is what I'll be doing for a horizontal book when I come back. Uh, and 
that'll be it'll be so pretty and then I can zoom a little bit more on the next rows we'll do the other vertical format and then uh, you know work work the last row so yeah good 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 huh I, I'm loving it just loving it it's so much fun I want to tell you one more thing uh, the fat quarter shop has put out the kit for the Christmas in July which is super fun it's always my most fun uh, so along it is great you're going to love this one I've had a sneak peek uh, they're just putting out their kit first now I, I will be using different fabric and after the supply list is out in a few weeks I will show you what I'm using but for today just know that the kit is out and so if you just want to get in on it uh, the link is down below and at my website today all right I'm gonna wrap this one up uh, right here because it's been a lot a lot of different things and uh, I really appreciate you stopping in and visiting even though my schedule is a little bit different remind you that there is another video next video is on Monday and then uh, there'll be no video on Tuesday but you can download your calendar for May because as I'm on the road uh, traveling I am doing the calendar the May calendar so the May calendar is up and you can go and download it and then uh, on Wednesday, so we'll have a next week will be Monday, then no Tuesday, and then Wednesday, it'll start back to a regular schedule of Monday through Saturday videos, except for the days that I don't have them, which check the calendar because I have to do some gardening. So I have to have a few days off in May to be able to work outside. So I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in this Lone Zone. I will see you online.